configuration video. Logilab SDMS icon appears on the desktop. Right-click the icon and click Compatibility. Select Change setting for all users and set up the privilege level. Select Run this program as administrator. Now, double-click the icon Fill in the details for Site Master as per your requirement. Save it. Login screen appears. Create new password and save the changes for the first time. Now, log in again with the username and password. Go to Application Configuration and select FTP Configuration Select Windows and search for Internet Information Service Manager. Now, select the server configuration where the server name is obtained from the Internet Information Service. Add new FTP site with the new site name as per your requirement and select the path at which the site to be created. Select No SSL and click Next. Provide the authentication and permission details and proceed. The FTP site has been created.
the highlighted part will be the server name fill in the rest of the details and save it. Now select server drive configuration and for server path. Select SDMS FTP site. Right click. Select advanced setting where physical path to be mentioned and copy the path. Paste the path in the server drive configuration. Now Select FTP configuration and create the desired group name and virtual directory name. In the instrument configuration, add the required instrument details. and save it. The details appears on the screen once it's saved.
select scheduler and select the data scheduler and fill in the client name and select the source path. Assign the designation, complete tree and save it. Repeat the same procedure for another group which is already created. Now, select View Scheduler to check in the details of the scheduled files. The files which are uploaded under different group name can be viewed. The file which is uploaded can be viewed by double clicking. Logilab SDMS is now ready to use.